Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. We are here with some more Legends of Frontera playing some Ari Bard today. Uh, the season is coming to an end pretty soon, so I'm probably going to be playing some like the the best decks I possibly can to try to climb some. I've never hit Masters, we're a little bit of ways at the moment, but I kind of really want to get there. So we'll see how we can do over the past few days, last few days. Uh, the Kaiser drop, the Kaisa spoilers dropped yesterday, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm excited for that package, looks pretty cool. I finally figured out what it evolved does, so it's like the plus two plus two part, so that's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the games go today. Sundisk is always an interesting one. Yesterday I played this matchup and, and we won fairly comfortably. Hmm. Homecoming is always an interesting keep. We have six copies in the deck, so it's okay if we run into it. But I'm not going to hold it just to hope that by the time like turn five or six comes along. The sun disk is, you know, unflipped or um, unprotected. So then we'll just run with this at the moment, see how it goes. Okay. This is interesting. Double homecoming in hand already. That makes me feel a little bit a little bit less bad if there ends up actually being yeah, okay. That makes sense. Sorry, I just woke up. <clears throat> if my throat is a bit scratchy, I'm sorry for that. I literally like just woke up. I woke up, got a chicken, like started streaming. So if my throat's a bit scratchy, I apologize. Yeah, I don't like any chimes in the morning, that's a bit annoying. Do we take four here? They could pass, but we just bank mana that way, so it's not the end of the world, and then we can play our two units anyways. Interesting. I think that's a good pass for them. I love that voice line, I think that's so funny. Another Perseverium, okay, that's fine. We're fine with that. Oh, sweet, that's a really good draw. That's like our one of to help really chum up the board, get some blocks in for these. Since they didn't attack, though, we still don't have to care about these guys attacking for quite a while. Yeah, okay. Just gonna swing in here, gonna buff up our Shadow Assassin. They could use Quicksand here, but we have a recall in the worst case scenario. Okay, sweet. I wonder what they're saving. Raider of the Arcane? Surely not, right? Oh, that's interesting. Excuse me. Sorry. I was taking a drink of my tea. We could probably set up lethal next turn, depending on if we hit another elusive. That's interesting. I wonder why you advance the advance the preservarium. That doesn't do anything, right? Like you're gonna get your preservarium anyways. Why not cheat this out next round? Really? That's so aggressive. I'm just gonna use a homecoming here, actually. Nope, if not bad either. Let's go! Alright, that was pretty good. I don't even know if we were gonna get to lethal next turn. We would've been close, but that was a good start. That was quick. Alright, LeBlanc Darius. This is another interesting one. Homecoming is so good in this matchup. Oh, it's the Freljord version. That's interesting. Ari, please? Okay, that's not bad, actually. 
Yeah, we'll just pass. We'll bank the mana and just play both of these this turn. I'm trying to think, do we care? I don't think we care about developing here, right? They, they, they don't play Blades Edge in this list, right? Oh, they play Sigil of Malice, though. That's interesting. Was not expecting that. I don't remember last time I saw that main deck. It's kind of funny. But that's three mana, right? So, not the end of the world. I did get a bit greedy, obviously, waiting with no protection, but... That's nice. That's really nice. Sweet. Okay. I think we play Bard. They're still not on board, right? Like, it's kind of crazy. Oh, that's a little bit too... Too tempting, I think. Wild should run free. What's going on here? I'm so confused by this list. <laughs> Have they played anything but Sigil of Malice? Now, Whispered Words? Wow, this must be a really bad hand for them. Sign in. Wow, this is so good. Okay, I think we're probably just gonna play Bard and the Morn this turn. Leave up to a disciplines. Only the finest, oh my gosh, what is our hand? That's so bad. Yeah, I don't think we need to spare the spare mana, right? The one extra mana won't be any breakpoints, right? The one mana won't let us do homecoming or anything, so we'll just play the Morn to get it buffed up with Sign in next turn. What? What is that list I mentioned? Because what could they possibly be playing that they can only play one unit up till turn five, right? Like, his decks are usually very aggressive. I wonder. Because there's no way it's like a uh, very nice combo, right? <laughs> Did they time out? That's so sad. Oopsies, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to play the Morn, but that's okay. We'll just play our sign in anyway. Who knows, maybe that one may not become important at some point. Okay, let's see. How do you want to do this? Do we want to recall sign in? Probably not. I feel kind of bad for our opponent. That would seem like a, a cool deck idea, but didn't go so well in this game, I guess. Alright, good game. Hmm, does that audio cut out when I switch? Because it cuts out for me. I hope it doesn't cut out for the stream. Because I have it on the Widow Capture to capture Legends of Matera, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this is interesting. Are they just splashing Shurima for stuff like, um, Rite of Calling? Or are there other stream cards in there? I don't know. Hmm. Noble fight doesn't seem bad. Do we keep the recall? Probably, because we'll be banking on turn one. So we might as well keep something up, I guess. I don't know. That seems like a questionable keep, but... We have two early units anyway, so we have a few draws to kind of fill out our hand. We definitely want to get Essence on the board first, I think, to hopefully get the Chime on our Ari. Yeah. 
Okay, that's whatever. We do have to play, play around on um, Ruination, I imagine, at some point. Oh, that was kind of bad. I, should, I definitely should have played around that, but... That was, that was really, really bad, I think. So now I think we just play Bard, right? Interesting. I guess to get the damage on Bard? I suppose. Because we have so many elusives, right? It's more like... Hmm. We can play Arya and just Homecoming. And they don't have Deny up. Oh, okay. Do you play Bard again? Probably not, he kinda just dies now, right? Quicksand could be annoying. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, homecomings are going to be important in this matchup. And Bard's kind of useless from this point onwards, he's gonna just have to become a backline champ. I think we can afford to put him on the board at least. Because we want him to be... Oh, well, I'm stupid. That's unfortunate. I was not playing around that. I, didn't, I don't know why I like expected my mana to... I don't know where I wanted my mana to go. Oh, well, that's whatever. We can homecoming again. It's kind of whatever. How mm. do you want to do this? I don't think we can afford to take that. Just reset Viego, I guess. Now this time we do have free call up in case they try vengeancing something. Okay. We have a lot of nopifies in hand. So we should have any of these on the vile feast, but I kind of misplayed that. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Oh, Jeepers, do we play around Ruination? I don't think we're dead next turn, right? So... Huh, this doesn't even get us really that close to winning the game if we play it right now, so I think we can just... Oh, Jeepers, I guess we have to attack with Ari, right? Like this? That feels kind of bad. Oh, I didn't realize you already leveled up Ari. Okay, let's get there. Let's see if we can do this. Next attack. We'll probably need another Lucifer or two, but... At least I prefer it more than just essences, but... Hmm. I think we have to play Highwaymen. And then this turn we can refill our elusives. Nice. Quicksand could be brutal next turn. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. Really? I guess. Okay. Oh, that's so tempting too. 
But I don't think we need it. We would actually need it. Hmm, okay. Listen to me. Ooh, that's a bit annoying. So in that case, we hunt Queen Vega. Sweet. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. Another Ari, okay, so that's really good. She waits for me beyond the mist. McQueen. Looking for a daring escape. Gonna find a gift for an exit. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have I don't think we want to play next turn. We want to just open attack, right? Okay with the recall here. We have enough in hand. Too slow. Too slow. What if I recall this guy? Wow. Do we care? I don't think so. It seems like he's desperate. Okay, I think we got there. That was like a free hit against our other Nexus, right? Ah, no deny is a bit annoying. No homecoming. So let's just go like this? No, this doesn't do anything. So we can just go Esmus and two loses and see if we get there. Because we have an, a lot of Oh, we have six just from these, even if they vengeance. Sorry, so that's so close. Okay, that's kind of whatever. Now we'll need a recall. Now the board's getting a bit scary. Oopsie, sorry about that. We actually really, really, really need to find this nice and Vigo's almost to 13. Hmm, this is pretty bad, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Don't want to trouble. Oh, this is really bad, isn't it? I think we didn't notify that. Oof, okay, 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 okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. The hunt eternal, Deny! Oh, the top deck. Wow! Another quick sound would be so brutal. Did we get there? I think we got there. Oh, 
Oh, what a game. Holy smokes, that was good. That was a really good game. We really had to last out those homecomings for a while, didn't we? It's arguable that I did not use them optimally. We kind of used them really early in the game. Like when the Vigo was at like 6 out of 20, 6 out of 20. Ended up working though. That was a pretty fun game. Not bad. This Ari Bard deck is so fun, my goodness. I hope it doesn't get kicked out of the meta too hard in the next patch or the next, like next update. Obviously everybody's gonna be playing other stuff when the stuff when the stuff first releases. But oh, oh my goodness, it's so fun. I still wish uh, Ari Cannon was around. I prefer that deck. I don't really like Bard overall as a as a champion. I feel like it's just like it's destroyed so much of the deck versatility. Like it, it feels like it's pretty much like Burn or a Bard deck at the moment, right? Like he just makes any deck so overstated that like if you're playing a non-Bard deck, you just like outright lose after a few turns, you know? Like you can't play Jinx decks unless you play like the Bard Jinx deck, right? You know, it's like you can't play Ari Ken, then you have to play. Bard Ari, and so, I don't know, it's interesting, but, I prefer the old, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I really don't like Bard. Oh, interesting. So, do we play around to make it rain? It depends who gets hit with chimes, I suppose. Oh. I think we just take damage. We don't really care. We really want to get an, a charm on Ari now. Nice. I live for those who do not. I'd like to see them just develop here. Everything should be out of range. Like they could do like a. Okay, sweet, sweet. I could do like a disintegrate into Blades Edge or something, but this this should be good. Sweet, I'm very happy with this. Cause I don't I, it's so much easier for me to kill them when I'm attacking than when I'm blocking, because I can't take any damage on my units. This is usually a really tough matchup, but this one's going pretty well. Ooh, highwaymen. Okay. Uh, I don't particularly care. I think we just homecoming the conservatory. They'd have to have double flock. That'd be brutal. Four is a lot. But I don't want to pre-commit my... Homecoming, right? So we do have to kind of just sit pat here, see if they do anything. Yeah. I don't want to recall either of those, right? Because like if they draw off the pink hooker, get an extra spider if they play this. So, just gonna set back the countdown a little bit. It's only like two or three turns, but I mean it's not bad, right? Ah, oh, dang, we do lose a lot of Ari there, don't we? That's okay. Okay. This does feel pretty bad though. We might have to just trade away our Zab Spray Fan. That's an interesting one. Who do I want him to trade with? I hope he just takes this block. Because I want this one live to kill the Kroger next turn. Really? Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I think we'll take that. This really does stink, doesn't it? Okay. I think I want to keep up recall. Blade's Edge make it rain really annoying. I'd really like to get some chimes on Highwaymen.
probably just gonna plop down the Ari. Next turn, we're probably just gonna have to play Highwaymen. Oh. Just play Highwaymen as blockers. Yeah, we're looking at a tough spot here. Bird is not bad. And that's really good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with these blocks. Oh, really? Double Blade's Edge? That's so bad. We lose our Ari, but it's kind of whatever. We'll find another one. I didn't even think about that actually killing our Ari. That's kind of funny. Oh, wow. That's pretty bad. They're probably going to be able to get tip off next turn. So we're just going to drop our blockers. Dang, if I thought of that, I probably would have just used one of the denies. Oh man, I'm so bad. I thought he was literally just trying to kill our Mornt. I don't know what I was doing. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We actually have okay trades here. I'm gonna say no to that one. This allows us to get too many good trades. Unfortunately, if they do get Tibalk. We're really running out of gas here. I really would have liked to find a Joppa earlier. Even a sign in right now would be good. Another Ari might be able to pick up the slack here. We are in danger of getting burnt out soon, honestly. And even Twisted Fate's gonna be leveling. Why would they do that instead of Tibalk, I wonder. I feel like you always just slam Tibalk there, don't you? Come on, it's time. Okay. Interesting. I imagine they'll commit something to try to kill our Navoya Highwaymen, and we'll recall it to recall Twisted Fate. That's the plan there, right? Reset the progress on him, and then, like right here, disintegrate. Really? Dang, that's brutal. Then I think we just recall here. Or Homecoming. I imagine... Dang, this really sucks, doesn't it? I think we take bird. This is playing into another Blade's Edge, but they've already played two. They've already played two Mega Rains. Sweet. Thing. I wanted to, I didn't want to play bird in case hmm okay that's fine that's actually okay we're fine we're fine we actually really need to find another homecoming though or else I think we're just dead to Tebalk next turn because Ari's automatically elusive here but we don't have any other elusives on the board which makes me wonder if we probably should have saved more next turn last turn but I don't think it would have mattered because they would have had zap as a blocker anyway So how can we get out of this? We need another homecoming, I think. Never lost a fair game. Wow, that's brutal. Dead in their 
I really wanted to recall this to get two extra blockers. Or to get an extra blocker, I suppose. Success. Round here. This is looking tough, I'll be honest. Yeah, we can survive one more turn. Hmm. That's a bit wild. Why have they not played Tibalk after like three turns? <laughs> Wow, that's a draw. Oh, I heal them. I think we have the safety block. So in that case, we'll trade this guy. We have an eye. We have twin. So I think our only out here is hitting Sinon into a another elusive or two, right? I think we can kind of play Ari here. Oh my gosh, that's a bit brutal, isn't it? So unfortunately, I do not play around that. Unlucky. I'm not sure that's a good matchup anyways. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. Three and one's still not bad. I feel like we could have done better there. I kind of threw that first hour away by accident. I don't know if that was the end of the world. If we kept it alive though, I'm not sure if we would have won. But I think that was definitely a misplay either way. Try beam. Haven't played this one in a long time. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I think. Not bad. Not bad. I usually would like to see a droplet or something, but I don't feel too bad about it against a try beam deck here. I'll probably just pop our Asmus. That's actually pretty good against a Trium deck. Looking for a daring escape. Well, what have we here? Strike quickly. That's pretty difficult for them to deal with this. So here's my question here. Do we go Conspirator Twin? And then Recall as a backup? Or Esmus Recall with Twin as a backup? Because he's easier to replay. We already have a chime on this. Really? No? Not even attempting the like... Wow, okay. Oh wow. Yeah, I think we just play another Esmus. Because we're not worried about a shock blast at the moment, right? Oh, interesting. Sure, sure, sure. I don't think we particularly care about that. Because we play a pretty buffed up bard here, probably. <gasps> Simon's nasty too. Oh man. I think we just go bard. How is he gonna kill bard, right? He's gonna have to sacrifice his Caitlyn. We can heal either of these with our iron intestines if we need to. Uh, really? Okay.
Really? No flux? Nothing? What's going on here? No Scorched Earth? Maybe they're just saving mana, obviously, but... Nice, that's really nasty. That's so, so nasty. Imagine if we get to play Sign in here. That has to be the game over. Oh my gosh, this sign is massive. So we have 10 mana, so we have... Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's so bad for our opponent. Oh my gosh. That's so bad. <laughs> I feel kind of dirty. We're just gonna save this highwayman until like worst case scenario, right? He's just gonna be like a seven, eight by the time we play him to refill our board. It's so funny because we can just like full swing here next turn. We don't even care, right? Like it's gonna be very difficult for them to react with stuff. We'll keep up deny mana or homecoming mana. Shock Blast would be interesting, wouldn't it? Just another flock. We have this as backup if they have another flock. A Scorch Earth would be a bit annoying though. Interesting. I think he's just getting a blocker on the field at that point. I don't think he's going to be able to kill our sign in. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see what they're doing. I don't care. <laughs> this bard is unkillable. <laughs> They've like literally almost leveled up their Ezreal from that though, that's kind of funny. Oh wow, and they healed up these guys as well, that's actually really good. This means they'll have to come in another spell to kill our sign in. Or our bard, I mean. We can react with this after they get to play blockers. Oh, that's gonna be so nasty. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they actually both went over here where we wanted. That's kind of funny. Sure. What is he mystic shotting? Really? Do we care about our bard? Probably. This will stop a. This will stop a Caitlyn strike. <laughs> Our two jobs are like huge. Oh no! I was not expecting that. Nice. Really? Wow, that's actually kind of brutal. And then we just go the big dudes now. 
Or I guess our bird is a big dude, huh? Hmm. I don't know if that's right. Oh, interesting. Nice, this is actually working out really well. So they don't have elusive, so we can just open attack for lethal here. And then if we lose anything, we can just replay sign in to refill our board and get some card draw, right? Let's go! That was a good game! I think that was a pretty solid way to finish the game. Or to finish the stream. You finished 4 and 1, really solid. Obviously this deck has been bonkers this patch, and it's one of my favorites. It's one of the few decks I actually have like a decent win rate on. I've been really struggling lately with some of like the Aphelios decks. Man, they're tough. But yeah, love the Ari Bard. Sorry, just checking check the Libra. I forgot you guys can't see, I think I have just done like the Legends of Terra tracker, or Legends of Terra screenshot thing for the recording. Yeah, I have a 63% win rate over 33 games with Ari Bard. Um, and then I have a, over 20 games, a 60% win rate with Jace Lux. And then after that, all of my things are 50% win rate or worse. I have exactly 50% win rate with the Felio Zoe. <laughs> over the past, like, 88 games I've played or whatever it is. Awesome, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. This deck's really fun. I think it's really solid. I know there are a lot of, like, concerns about putting it into your lineup and seasonals. But at least for ladder, it's a really strong deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give yourself a try if you haven't, because it's been around for a while and it's bonkers. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.